Dude, when I was oh. last time I was on one of those medicine balls, um, you know, like the the sit and bounces with the handle. Oh yeah, do yeah, I know? Cra- cracked my skull open. No fucking way, really? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. How old I, were you? I was on the sit and bounce. I was downstairs. My dad was like watching the the Patriots game downstairs or something. I was bouncing up and down. The sit yeah. and bounce was green. That's the only detail I remember. But apparently, <laughs> I was jumping oh up and down God. on it. And I, I don't know how you can even fall off a sit and bounce, but I like, I like, hey man, dolphin anything's dove possible. I, I dolphin <laughs> dove forwards, smashed my face into a table. Oh my I, God. I, I have like a, a giant gash across my forehead. That takes um, an impressive amount of lack of coordination. That's, I know. No, I thought I was, I thought it was so I, I was probably like, dad, look. And then, I just, <laughs> and then dad, hey, look, <laughs> <laughs> my dad Fuck was probably it. freaking out. Oh missed, man, like, the, that would... the third and fourth quarter for that. that never <laughs> Dude, forgave me. If I, if you were uh, my kid, I would be upset that I had to miss the second half of the game. <laughs> yeah, there, there's blood <laughs> gushing everywhere. <laughs> oh, son, <laughs> fuck! First down. You're down a field goal. <laughs> fuck, honey, start the car. <laughs> Can you take him? Can you take him? We're, back. <laughs> we're in the red zone. Uh, <laughs> He's also in the red zone, but it's different. <laughs> Okay, he's gushing blood. Yeah, that was the that was the first time I cracked my head open. I think I I did at least the twice. first, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I got hit in the head with a a chair by my friend. Uh, oh, like my friend Tyler, who I'm no intentionally. Longer yeah, I think so. I think we were fighting with chairs. It was like a Lego chair, <laughs> though. I, that that's the detail that I'm told. I don't know a if, Lego if, chair. The detail yeah, you're told. Why did you get knocked out? Dude, I don't, I don't remember anything. Like, oh, like God. I told you, all I remember about the sit and bounce was that it was green. <laughs> I know, I know, but still, oh the, God. Yeah, I was like, we were fighting with Lego chairs outside, and he whacked me with the Lego chair. And a I have, Lego, it, like, I don't know, like, a, I, like when I think like Lego, a large chair, chair? Like a little, yeah, that's what I was. But I think a, it's a yeah. big plastic, like, colorful chair or something. Okay. Uh, oh, anyways, welcome to the rabbit hole. Uh, we're welcome back. <laughs> we're, we're back. Uh, if you're new here, so are we. It's been like 51 weeks or something since we've posted yeah. an episode. Almost uh, a full year. We should have waited. Yeah. Or actually, it probably is now by the time this comes out. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wait. We, yeah, we like quit in September. Do you want One to talk year about why we quit? Um, want to talk about why we quit or... Uh, yeah, go nuts. Should we leave it, leave it to the... Uh, leave it to the imagination. Mm, yeah, we could do that. Or we could tell two stories. One's a lie, one's not. It's like two truths Ooh, and a lie. I like but that instead one. of two truths, it's one truth. You go first, then I'll go. And then they won't know who's who's telling okay. the truth. Uh, so episodes three through eight, I think, I kept calling Kaz baby girl. Uh, and he was not a huge fan of that. So it started right. a little bit of drama. He didn't want it, he didn't want people to know that we met on Grinder. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. even though he's super open about having hinge. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that says again, about him. That's, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know what that says. What are you, are you in my phone? Do you know? You don't know what's on my fucking phone. Not grinder anymore, asshole. Not hinge either. Uh, <laughs> I'm not on anything. Uh, yeah. I'm got, on a like, spiritual journey. I'm not looking for love. This right too. Like he kept fucking interrupting me. <laughs> I did that one on purpose. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to provoke you to say it though. Like that was the. Re- anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Was that it? Was that all your story? Was <laughs> no, going? no, actually. Uh, no, the, the interrupting thing uh, w- was a big issue for sure. Uh, it got like I had my mom talk to his mom because we were scared to confront <laughs> each other. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was not having it. And yeah, his, his we... mom's he's got a Chicago mom. I've got. I've got a I got a Boston mom, so like yeah, Boston, so like real Chicago class. badass, Boston racist. So it didn't. <laughs> well, that's, that's terrible. Don't say that about your family. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My my mom's great. Oh fuck, I forgot she listens to this now. I mean, oh frick, I forgot she. <laughs> She's gonna be like, Cam, did you say I was fucking racist on your show last? What? No, no, what no. Mom, it was clearly the a joke, dude. Obviously. So so I told uh. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, sorry, sorry. This is a. I'll write this down. I'll write this down. Go, go ahead okay. with your side of the story. Our okay. My side of the story is that we uh, thought nobody liked the show, 
And uh, we were like, well, we might as well not do it anymore. And then I think it was Cam, not me. I think it was Cam saw one day. He was like, dude, we've been charting for 42 weeks. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, we have a fan base. And I was like, that's that can't be right. And then <laughs> here we are. And we're back. <laughs> we were. I think we were top 20. Either top 10 or top 20 in Australia for like eight forever weeks. and this for like eight weeks straight. And this was like two months after we stopped producing episodes. So, yeah, so we're back <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Shout out to Aussies. Aussies. Fuck. I messed it up again. They're going to. Aussie like chart. Ozzy Osbourne. I'm on a they're, crazy That's what train. they're called. They're not, we're not going to chart anymore in that country, though. Oh, I C- deeply continent? apologize. Country. It's a both? continent and it's a country. It's both. It's a double whammy. There's a little geography lesson for you. What fucking scumbags? They're hogging, hogging both? Are you kidding me? Well, it is an island. So is Hawaii. That's just a state. Okay. It's, uh, it's a really so fucking So is Madagascar. That yeah, well, it's really big. Continent. It's super big, though. You Iceland. Ever Greenland. Whatever. Antarctic. Oh, wait. That's... Is that an island? I, no, I don't think so. Just I think it's connected. A whole lot of ice. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, that, those are the two sides of the story. <laughs> um, obviously, causes was the true one, um, <sighs> or not? Whatever you choose to believe. Or yeah, it's really up to the imagination. Yeah, it's really but, a, yeah. But if you're new here, this is this is the Rabbit Hole podcast. We're gonna do weekly episodes, releasing every Friday. Weekly holes, weekly. new holes, weekly holes everywhere. Um, We're gonna put out a punch card, and you're gonna be able to punch new holes every single week. This is true. Uh, this is also our second time recording this first episode. The first one, yes. we're, we're like, you know what? We didn't touch enough holes. Well, uh, <laughs> maybe I mean, that's, that's not that. That's not. I did. Ca- Cause said yeah. something like that. I think. I yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't even. Yeah. No, we didn't touch enough holes, and we weren't invested in enough holes. And now we got we got so much. We got. Fucking holes over so here. Many we got holes, holes over here. Yeah. I got holes coming out of my ass. I mean, we got I did, so many I did holes. this segment. I did this segment the first episode, but it wasn't it wasn't great. But I'm still gonna do it. We have intro music. Cause give me give me a beat. Oh right. It was <clears throat> what was the tempo again? Uh, <laughs> I think it's 80 BPM. 80. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make one up. Uh, <clears throat> wait. No, I didn't like. That. I didn't like that. <laughs> so I didn't know. I didn't know what that was. No, no, no. Let me <laughs> forget. I even did that. Forget. I even did that. Boom, boom, shh, boom, 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 shh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me. Should I just do like a basic <clears throat> drum beat? I feel like that was a little bit too much. Yes, yeah, please. Okay. I just feel like you're spitting on me. I'll, I'll do acapella. I, I'll do acapella. I'm not spitting on you. I can't spit through the screen. Here, you could you could just do ad libs as I do it. It is only All one right. line though, so you have to you have to be quick about it. Okay, Ready? I'm yeah, I'm I'm quick in the sheets. Come here, Mr. Rabbit. Let me come inside your hole. Oh, my God. <laughs> did you do that last time? <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think I did. I think it was a different think line last time. Yeah, it was something Yeah, else. we could yeah. cut that in post, though. That was embarrassing. <laughs> cut it. No, <clears throat> that's staying in it. Um, yeah. Um, so <laughs> anyways. So that, that just got me a little flustered there. Sorry. Uh, no, is that is that all we do for an intro? Is that what we just say like welcome? Um, yeah, we say welcome, and then we like kiss. Uh, yeah. No, oh, no, that was before the drama. Yeah, that was before <laughs> the drama. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, just we still kiss, but no tongue. It's different. <laughs> and off. It's more of like it's platonic. <clears throat> yeah. Um, dude. You know what I'm really excited about? I've been what? really wanting to bring this up, and I know you don't really give a fuck. And nobody else probably gives a fuck, but the... <laughs> that was a deep inhale. <laughs> it was just... I'm trying to... I'm, I was just trying to suck in all the hope that's in my inside of my body right now. The Chicago Bears. Oh, God. You lost me. Come on, man. Listen. They have Caleb Williams. Okay? I've been, have you been watching Hard Knocks on HBO? No. Listen, I'm at a level the Bears have never been good since I've been born. Well, they did make the Super Bowl, but it was like we had Rex Grossman as a quarterback, and it wasn't really like a true Super Bowl. It was kind of like we knew we were going to lose. Anyways, Caleb, 
I've become so delusional that when people come up to me and they ask me and they're like, hey, how do you think the Bears are going to do this year? I have to fight everything inside of me to not say that I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. I mean, I feel I feel like that's just every every NFL fan, every team. No, but I never believed it until like every year. Oh, you I'm you like, actually believe it now. That's the problem. Like, I don't even know what's delusional and what I actually believe anymore. You're I'm going in like this weird at the most. You know what? That's a playoff spot. Depends. It depends. I think it. I think it could be. I Dude, think it could be. And I think he is the savior. And I think he's going to save the city, Caleb. And that's it. That's all I got on Caleb. And um, I think he's yeah. fantastic. Last and last note about like sports. Um, the Patriots. I'm a Patriots Art fan. Suck. We just we, they're bad. We just announced that we're starting Jacoby Brissett. Yeah, I saw that. We we drafted a quarterback, Drake May, third overall. In the draft, he was playing pretty like, good. Fuck you, yeah. We're like, fuck you. We're starting Jacoby Brissett, who went like zero and four on our team five years ago. Yeah, um, that's um. Hey, dude, the front office is really just doing a bang up job. So. Anyways, this is this is not a sports podcast as much as I, I would love it. Right, of course, love for it to be because right. um, I think because of causes luscious locks and sexy personality, most of our audience is women. Um, I don't think so. I think there's a lot of men that also. You really? know, would like to see what I'm all about. I don't swing that way, but I don't know. I have a lot of gay guys. I, in I my thought DMs, you were gonna say that, and I, I like you said there's lots of men that like enjoy the show, but you're like, no, you you went straight. Oh to well, that show. I mean, sure, that too. I mean, that I I feel like that was I feel like that went without saying. Obviously, I don't think it did. All right, you anyway. know what I will say though, I appreciate it more when a I see a gay guy in my DMs giving me a compliment. Oh, absolutely, because that, I'm yeah, like, is... damn. I'm like, I, it's almost like I, it's almost like I go beyond the confines of where I even belong. Getting, yeah. Getting a compliment from a gay man, uh, as a straight man is the best thing that could ever happen to you. One time a gay dude told me that he liked, um, like this, I think it was like a sweater that I was wearing. I wear it almost every single time that I go out <laughs> because I'm like, clearly I'm dripping right now. <laughs> like clearly I, I put that shit on and I'm never taking that shit off. I've I've heard so many stories about like gay men complimenting straight men. I've never had it happen to me personally, but I can only oh, imagine so the euphoria dis- that would run through your veins, oh, dude. If that, if that happened, like it, I'm I'm contemplating life because I like haven't gotten that compliment specifically like, on a piece right of now. clothing too. Oh, maybe that's it. It's the clothing. A, <laughs> I'm wearing a happy hour shirt. It was ten dollars at Target, so maybe yeah, maybe that it's might, the style. You yeah. know what? I'm not going to say anything, but that might be it. That might be it. That might fuck happen to not saying anything. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't I I, say anything, but that might be it. I mean, I said a little. That's like when people say no offense, and then they just say they must have. <laughs> that is the like time. the worst thing ever. <laughs> no offense, but your teeth are fucking disgusting and yellow. Like if someone said that to me. <laughs> oh um, man. Um. No. So what I was going to talk about before is I told my parents. I do social media. I d- I've been doing social media for four years, and and I like just told them last August, I think. Um, oh right, 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 right. That- I think you were gonna say this August, like they didn't know how the fuck you were paying for shit for the past year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I I debated not telling them at all, just quitting my job and like pretending I still had my my job as a data analyst at some tech company because that's what okay. I did before this. I, right. I was debating like. I could, I could, like, they don't know my boss. I could just, I could just wing this. That's true. Um, the problem is old, like, old people do not understand. They don't. Not that I just straight up called my parents old. Um, well, you know, I sorry, mean, mom. To a certain sorry, degree. Um, you just have to explain to them, like, why do you get, why do you keep looking to your right? Are you texting someone? What? No, What's sorry. I was trying to fix the light without saying anything. My apologies. <laughs> I was trying to fix the lighting on my right. Sorry. No, go ahead. I was trying. I was pulling. I was hold on one second. I was trying. I was pulling the string. That's a little better. I was trying to. I was like pulling the string under the desk, trying to fucking like (laughs) lure it. I was like pulling it, and I'm like, yeah, no, this super interesting story, Cam. And I'm just like trying to fucking. (laughs) Dude, this this was like three. You're like three stories deep in in pulling that string. (laughs) I saw you like five minutes ago. You're like looking over a little bit, and I thought I heard a door close. I thought somebody interrupted. 
So it's no, like, no, um, no, it was just... I, I like got distracted for like five seconds. I'm like, oh, no, no. The door closing was it almost fell because I slammed the side of it against the desk. And I was hoping nobody <laughs> heard that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, you know, see, what was I talking? So you, you distracted me again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. The light was distracting me. You didn't Did you have some things in your notes you wanted to bring up? Here? Oh, OK. I, I have this little segment that that I want I want to do. I, I like my notes is like my diary notes app is one of my favorite things of all time. Oh, I just dude. write shit in there and like nobody ever has to see it, even if it's unfunny. Um, like if my notes app got ones. leaked, I would have to I would have to jump off a cliff. Like I not because I'm worried about what's in there, but because like I don't even know what's in there. Dude. OK. Would like there's probably have... some cringy ass shit from like three years ago. That's just not funny. Like just bits hold that on, I thought on. would hold kill. On. So start bench cut, right? Okay. You know this game or like kiss Mary kill or whatever. Yeah. Obviously. All right. Start bench we cut. Start, like kill. start. No, it wouldn't make sense for this. All right. Fine. Uh, start. start is like, that's the best one. I, bench. Yeah. If you're not familiar no, with sports, it. like start yeah. good bench. Second. Kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cut. Terrible. So, no things that you would have leaked. Oh. All of your iMessages. Okay. Um, slash Snapchats, both included. Okay. Right, okay. Any form your, of communication. Yeah. Yeah. Your Notes okay. app. Okay. Or your Jackbox quick flash answers. Um, what? Your Jackbox quick flash answers. You ever played Quiplash? No, no. Okay, I'll, I'll say it's. <laughs> that, I thought that was a great example, but instead Dude, of Jackbox Quiplash, I'll say Cards Against Humanity answers. Oh, okay. It's like a card game type no. of thing. Okay, you know what? We'll just let's not get into it. I don't really. I don't know what it is. I've never even. You said that, and I thought you were having a stroke. I've never heard that string of words together in my life. Dude, that's I, fine I, though. I, I just know. don't it, know it. I want to I want to keep this in audience people. I don't know. Why I'm saying it like I'm the fucking president, like addressing no, it's the okay. nation. America. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> people of America. What do they say? People of people, America or something. People. No, people. What up, hoes? Is that what they say? I don't think a president has ever said what up, hoes. <laughs> uh. I want I want your like DM the rabbit hole pod on Insta. I want I want to know your answer to that. Yeah, um, we want to know how deep your hole goes for that answer. That, Sorry, don't send yeah. photos to Cam. <laughs> videos about, only. Any, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no videos either. Yeah. Uh, all right. The real segment we're gonna do is is like in the notes app. I have some random just words written down that I, I know what they mean. Nobody else knows what they mean. Cause might know what they mean because he also okay. has ADHD and stupidity syndrome. Um, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I just got astray. What the fuck was that? <laughs> so unnecessary. <laughs> Whatever. Keep going. Whatever. Continue. Uh, some of them are self-explanatory. Here. I'm just going to read one of them out loud. You have to guess what I was going to yap about. Okay. Okay. Mount Everest. Oh, people dying there and getting frozen to death. I guess that's like kind of part of it. Oh, okay. Wait, let me get let me do a second one. People sure. climbing it. Why the fuck are you doing that? Go home. Also, kind not really, but also kind of part. Oh, of it. okay. I don't have a third guess. It's not Mount Everest isn't cool anymore. It's not impressive or cool to climb Mount oh, Everest you, anymore. You don't think it's? I mean, it's. I mean, it, it's like impressive. No, any. Any rich People person, die. any rich person who's moderately <laughs> athletic with the right equipment can do it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I personally can't. I'm not built for that. I'm built like a wet paper towel. But if other, I'm. I was about to say other rich people. I'm not rich. That's why. A wet paper towel. Bullshit. If it's like bounty though, that's pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty strong, dude. You, you ever use a bounty like a one sheet that soaks up? I'm glad you didn't hear. What I, I just cooked our podcast. And you oh, what did you say? <laughs> I said I almost said other rich people, and I said, uh, I was like, never mind. I'm not rich. So that's why I'm doing this fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> As if we make any. We're we're like in the speaking of rabbit hole, we're in the hole <laughs> with this podcast. With this yeah, po we are uh, in the a hole. lot. We're deep in the hole. Yeah, but we a, might be a, in like easily. A, 
Easily what's, over a thousand. What's bigger than a rabbit that makes a hole? I could. I mean, if I, if I, if I, I mean, if I really put my mind to it, <laughs> I'm talking like, <laughs> I mean, oh, like an animal? Regular, yeah, animals that regularly make holes. That okay? Do rabbits even make holes? Obviously, I mean, why? Well, rabbit have you ever hole? seen a rabbit in a hole? Yeah, the one that Alice fell in in Wonderland. Alice fell in a big ass hole, and it was made by a rabbit. Is that what you're telling me? That's yeah. Well, she chased a rabbit seen... into the hole. I mean, if I mean, she chased a rabbit into the hole. Obviously, the rabbit made the hole. How big was that motherfucker? It was a. It was a. It was a large. It was like the size of a small. Like probably like a, a, a second grader. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, well, it, rabbit... I'm talking. To... I'm talking about the movie, though. I don't know, like, you know, oh, I'm, maybe yeah, it was I mean, smaller. I'm talking about the movie with, like, Johnny Depp, like the Tim Burton version. That's my favorite one, personally, I'm just saying. But that's the one. The rabbit is, like, they're, everything is, like, very lifelike and, like, a little bit too large, you know? It's, like, basically, it all the, the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movies feel like you're on, like, a really bad trip that you're never going to get off the entire time. Would you go to Charlie's Chocolate Factory? <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I would swim in that if I, dude, I would, would you walk actually, into Charlie's. I would eat like the blueberry. kill off all the kids or something. Yeah, whatever. I would eat the blueberry, then I would <laughs> jump in the river, and then I would fucking, then I would eat, then I would like try and get the nuts from the squirrel, and I would dive down the hole. I would do the whole shebang. You would like eat everybody, the blueberry. And oh, absolutely, a blueberry. dude! You know how fucking fun that would be to roll myself home. So you're gonna wait? You're gonna. <laughs> I'm serious. Like you know how fucking fun that would be? Like you're they, they, be like they. The, Go ahead. That I was gonna say you're gonna be like that that can in that Chef Boyardee commercial. That's the only commercial. That <laughs> Dude, I that would be me about. rolling myself up. You know that you know that commercial? Yes, I'm obsessed my favorite. with that commercial. I, talk, I, love I it. talk about that any chance I can. Dude, that commercial was brilliant and it they was ahead of it its back. time. And they Yes. They need I think they did bring it back, but it flopped. Just like yeah. this podcast, probably. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I keep throwing shots at this podcast for yeah, no reason. Yeah, damn, dude. <laughs> uh Mount Everest. Right. You don't think it's you don't think it's impressive anymore? <laughs> Dude, there so the very first person that did it did it like no or like there's like they they only had oxygen. They yeah, and they got lucky coat or something. Yeah. yeah, and they got lucky. That's what I, it used to be like a 20% chance that you didn't make it back down. And now it's like a a 0.1% chance. Hold on. Odds of not making it out of everest let's let's see here i i yeah i should have i should have prepared a chart for sure but it there's a to... you have a one in 20 chance of not making it down again that means every 20 people that go up one of them doesn't come back you, yeah that's because there's always like a very five year old that's like oh i could do it that doesn't that doesn't matter no that doesn't matter I feel, I feel like that's also not true it used to be like a one in three chance though okay well like, now it's holy one shit this still high climb. This dude climbed Everest. Holy shit. Now there's like, I think, over a thousand people a year that climb it. It used to be so rare. And, and it, it was like, and a lot of them shit, die. Sick. <laughs> Every 20 of those thousand I die. Like, I feel like you have a better chance of dying in a car accident than dying on Everest nowadays. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait. I'm not. A, uh, I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done. A car accident? Chance of dying in a car crash. One in ninety three. Okay, that's yeah. So that's still actually, not, that's still kind of crazy. Ninety. I have no ninety three people. No, but the thing one is, of us no, is dead. no, that's not no, no, no. But the thing is, the ninety three is counting people who have been in a car crash. Everest is just you're just going up. Nothing has to happen. Like getting in okay, your car you, does so not. You fucking mean, lied to me. First, it's one in a hundred for Everest. What? No, it is not. The death rate from climbing Mount Everest in the last 30 years sits at about 1%. But I'm looking at it right now. It says the odds of not making it down from Everest are approximately 1 in 20. What, what's your source? Yeah, look, the death rate on Mount Everest is around 1%. You got to keep reading here, bucko. Which means that for every 10 successful ascents, one person dies. That would be 10%. I don't know. I'm reading Google, man. The fuck you want what? from me? Two sentences do not make sense together. Those two do not make sense together. What I'm reading, 1% chance of death. 
More than 1% dying in the I car don't know. accident. I don't know. You could jump in your car, drive around in a circle, go back home, and you, you'd be like, oh, I, I could have climbed Everest. That made no sense. <laughs> I mean, dude, I don't even know where you went with that. <laughs> you have a better chance of, of dying in a car accident than dying on Everest nowadays in dude, the last 30 years. You've said so much that I'm so confused and I don't even know what percentage is what anymore. <laughs> I'm basically saying Everest isn't cool anymore. You know what? Fine. <laughs> it's not cool. F Everest isn't cool, guys. You heard it here first. If you climb Everest, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get like some like some dude who climbed Everest in like 2007 is going to be like, you fucking bitch. He's gonna <laughs> so he's, in my you have no idea what it fucking took to get <laughs> it. fucking piece of shit. So many months of training. <laughs> uh yeah that was that was the first thing you've I never done noticed. anything hard like this in your fucking life sitting in front of your fucking computer play video games you motherfucker <laughs> that one came from your heart i know it yeah sorry no that was that was honestly directed towards me <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> all right uh oh sh should we like switch off or do you have anything in your notes do you have anything you want to talk about your hand um your i was just gonna tell everybody that i dislocated my fucking shoulder first of all oh my god wait that's the reason we weren't able to record yeah that's the reason we were gonna do this like a couple weeks earlier and then cam literally texts me day of and he's like yo are we recording or the day but night before and he goes are we recording tomorrow and i go i low-key just dislocated my shoulder so probably not um, so that's why it got pushed back. Also, I forgot to tell you this last time. So I dislocate my shoulder, whatever. By the way, I was playing fucking men's league. Yeah, this is fucking S pathetic. Yeah, go I ahead, was, tell it. Hey, <laughs> sorry. I, okay, I I was I was competing. All right. Um, it was playoffs, so I was like really dialed in. I don't even think you win anything if you win playoffs, but that's beside the point. I think they're just like, good job, go home. Uh, but anyways, also, you said you shouldn't have even made playoffs because their team was so ass. Yes, that's also true. And the teams we were playing against were like dads with like their children were in the stands. And then we just <laughs> lost this bad. You're a bunch Dude, of young, like 20 year olds. They're really good. They're really good. Young 20 year olds in their prime. You have dads with beer bellies cranking home runs over you yeah dude because they got all that weight behind them and it's just it's just the ball goes forever it's like it's in the air and it never comes down all right i'm sorry so anyways i hit the ball this is like the first inning which makes it even worse <laughs> it's the first inning i run to first i'm standing at first next play i'm sprinting to second this Guy on the other team, obviously everybody there is not professional athletes, so this ball is flying at my fucking head, and I'm like, oh shit, I need to get out of the way. So I go to slide into second, and my shoulder pops out. I get up, and I'm like, oh my god. It was like one of those moments where you just like, you something happens to you, and I was just laying there on the ground for three seconds, and I was like, oh, my, t my shoulder's totally not in its socket right now. <laughs> and I get up. I walk to the bench and my friends are like looking at me. They're like, cause what are you doing? We got to get back out on the field. Oh my God. And I was like, that is not don't. And then like, they're coming up. They're like asking to take pictures. I'm like, dude, somebody call a fucking ambulance. Like, what are you <laughs> talking you about? Pictures. I need to see. Yeah. A picture. I got a picture. I'll send it to you later. <laughs> and all, it's just me sitting on the bench, like in, severe pain and my and you just see like a bone sticking out the top of my fucking arm oh my God. it was Can nasty we, we should just post it on the rabbit hole instagram no context yeah i'll, I'll send this it to really yeah um anyway so i call my mom because i'm obviously not paying a thousand dollars for a fucking ambulance so i call yeah, my mom i think it's more than that i think it's like yeah or something. so i was like hey uh i was like trying to like pretend like i was good at first and i was like hey and she's like aren't you playing a game right now I was like, yeah, I kind of like dislocated my shoulder. And she's like, oh my God. I was like, no, no, no. Like, it's fine. Like, take your time. Just like come over, pick me up and like take me to the hospital. And she was like, oh, and so she drives over, picks me up. We end up going um, to the hospital. Luckily, I get there and I walk in. I ended up, well, technically I didn't go to the actual like ER room because I knew I was going to have to wait for four hours. So luckily here, there's uh, this thing called in Illinois, it's called Illinois bone and joint. And there's like these little like clinics of like people who like they have like doctors in there who, you know, are 
will like could hopefully put my shoulder back in. Luckily, I walk in. The guy that's on call is a shoulder specialist. The only one there that knew how to fucking put my shoulder back in. I'm like, shoulder Thank God. specialist. They, no, seriously. And so what? I get there and I walk in and the lady's like, so what? And keep in mind, I have a, I had a tank top on. So you could clearly see that my shoulder was out of its socket. And this lady just looks right at me and she goes, what are you in for? Oh, okay. Never mind. And then she just starts writing on her thing, like shoulder dislocation. And she's like, do you think you can fill out some forms? And I'm like, I guess I don't, can we put this back in first? <laughs> and then she's like, you just have to fill out a couple things for insurance. And I'm like, whatever. Wait, and was it your right shoulder? No, it was my left. Luckily. Oh, okay. so I, was, I was still <laughs> able to, I was still able to write. You fill out this form and you can't yeah. write. <laughs> then finally, after 20 minutes, I'm literally, there's nobody in this waiting room. I'm laying basically half on the floor, half on like this couch with like my arm, like hugging my side because any other way, cause I literally couldn't move it at all. Cause it was locked in place. And finally, after about 20 minutes, they open the door. The doctors come out and they're like, hey, um, we're going to put your shoulder back in. Don't worry. First, we got to take some x-rays. How much can you move it? Not at all. It's out of its socket. And so they take me into this x-ray room and they're like, sorry, this shouldn't take too long. I'm like, I am going to pass out from this pain. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're doing right now. And so then they're taking photos. She's like, stand straight. Okay, turn to the left. And then she comes out of the next room and she looks at me and she like hesitates for a moment. And she goes, do you think you could maybe like bend your arm and put it up on that table? Uh, fuck no. And I, she, <laughs> so then they bring in three other doctors and they're like trying to maneuver my arm to try and get it on this table so that they could see it under the x-ray machine. And they're like, are you uncomfortable? Yeah, yeah, I'm uncomfortable. And so finally... They like get barely the picture they needed. Then they take me in the other room. The nurses know me from TikTok. So now they're asking me questions and they're like, oh, no. they're like, when did you start? And I'm like, you know, I obviously in any other, like I'm trying to be extremely polite, but I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, I really don't want to have a conversation right now. I understand. Like, you know, I'm trying to be super nice about it. And I'm trying to answer questions and things like that, but I'm like, dude, I am fucking, this is terrible. And so then the doctor Wait, comes in. How long has it been uh, to this point? It's been about 45 minutes of like my shoulders still out of its socket. And this isn't counting the 20 minutes that it took me to get there. So it's actually been an hour. So finally the doctor comes in and he's like shoulder dislocation. She's like, okay. He tells me, he's like, we should be able to get it back in. If we can't, though, we're going to have to send you to the ER and it's going to be like another four hours. And I was so now I'm thinking, like, I am praying that they get it back in. And so I, I thought the, a shoulder dislocation, you just like like you could you could add your friends to it. You just like pop it back. Yeah. In so, like, I think push. there's sometimes it will pop right back in. But mine popped all the way out and then, like, got caught on something and was basically like oh, locked. Like, God. I bare, I couldn't. It wasn't like I. I oh, it wasn't like dangling. It was like, yeah, locked. it wasn't like dangling. It was like, I mean, obviously it was kind of dangling, but it was, <laughs> yeah. it was like the best way to explain it is, is, uh, uh, when you have like a cramp and your whole leg goes stiff, except it, a bone was like that. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Not, not comfy. Anyways, the doctor comes back in and he goes, okay, we're going to pop this back in, but we're going to need to give you a shot of lidocaine in your shoulder and then give it 20 minutes and then we'll pop it back in. And I'm like, dude. I literally said to the doctor, I'm like, I'm in so much pain. I don't even care about the lidocaine. Like, let's just pop it back in. And he's like, no, like it's protocol insurance. And I was like, fine. So they sh shoot me up with some lidocaine. Then I'm laying on the table and the nurse luckily was being, uh, she ended up asking me like trivia questions. <laughs> while I'm laying on my back, which like, I understand what she was no, trying they, to yeah, do. They do that. They, yeah. They, like, like get my mind off of it. Yeah. But like, I, and the only reason Trivia she started asking crazy though, <laughs> not, Dude, I not, know, like, and I was, not like, how about them bears? <laughs> yeah, no, like, in 1968, started, she started asking president. me NBA trivia questions <laughs> because she asked me if I watched basketball and I was like, yeah, I watched basketball. And she was like, you watch the NBA? And I'm like, yeah. And then, so she started asking me NBA trivia questions. Anyways, beside that, the only reason she started asking me was because I was sitting there and they were asking me about TikTok. And like I said, I was trying to be very polite and I was trying to ignore the pain in my shoulder. But then it got to a point where I stopped her mid conversation. I go, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to throw up or pass out. So can I lay down and maybe like bring a garbage can over? And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah sure. Then that's when she started asking me the questions. But anyways, 
20 minutes go by, which by the way, I got the questions right. Actually, I'm going to ask you this really quick just to see if you know, because it's kind of a fun question. There's four NBA teams that don't end in S. Do you know? Oh, God damn. Okay. Um, shit. Two are in Florida. Jazz. Okay. Bam. One. Uh, two are in Florida. Heat. Yeah. Bam. Uh, Magic. Bam. Fuck. Uh, I'm giving you a hint. Explosion. Tsunami. Wave. Axe throwing. Boom. Rain. Boom. Loud noise. Boom. Rain. Th thunder. <laughs> yeah. And I got, dude, I got that. I was kind of proud of myself. I got it in under three minutes while I was in excruciating pain trying not to throw up. Yeah, with no out. hints, too. That's wild. Yeah, well, she gave me one hint at the end because I was oh. I was starting to fade. I was starting to wobble. <laughs> I, was, I wonder if that's like, I wonder if they every hospital has a nurse that just like they specialize in like trivia and distraction. Maybe, <laughs> dude. I don't know. Um, like, but they were you're like, get Nurse Kathy in here. We need some trivia. <laughs> yeah, she's like eight. We just shot this guy up. With, <laughs> we shot this guy up with some uh, anesthesia. We need we need a distraction as he goes out. <laughs> okay. uh, I, uh, anywho. Finally, another 20. So it's been about hour 20, hour and a half. It feels like I've been in there for three days and I don't even know when my shoulder's getting back in at this point. Finally, the doctor comes back in. They throw like three towels and blankets around me. There's two nurses on my right, one on my left. Were you cold? They're, well, because they're, <laughs> no, they're like holding me down. Like they wrapped, them, like they basically, they used them as like restraints. They're like, and this guy like, has ADHD. We got to lock him down, right? I was now. like, I'm not going to swing at anybody. They're like, no, we just want you completely still. And I was like, how? I was like, is this going to hurt that bad? <laughs> and and yeah, so they're you like, fidget even more. You're like, what's going on? I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and so the doctor was like, he's like, you know, you might feel something, but hopefully not. <laughs> and he goes, and he just, he's like, don't move. And that's all I heard. He pulls my arm straight down and then boom right up and i hear pop and i'm like oh my god they don't even give me a moment to live with that they don't even give me a moment to like sit with what just happened they yank me up with my other arm immediately take an x-ray because they want to see if they fractured it when he threw it back in luckily that didn't happen but i was like i was like laying down they pop this all happened in like five seconds i was laying down in up x-ray and i was like oh my fucking god <laughs> like my arm i'm like i'm like holy shit and they're like, are you okay? I'm like, I, in a second, I will be, but <laughs> just give me a moment here. And um, yeah, long story short, though, I finally got an MRI. Uh, I tore that bitch to pieces. I tore my labrum to pieces, uh, but I already tore the shoulder once. So the back half of my labrum is actually completely artificial and still intact. And you still and tore it? Oh, I oh, tore no, the front. The, okay. Yeah. So oh, now the good. whole thing. Yeah, so now the whole one hundred percent of it is gone. Yeah, so the hundred one hundred percent of the labrum is gone now. And the doctor said to me, "I just basically got to go to PT physical therapy for like a month." And he said, "You know, he goes, some people decide to just live with it if the pain's not too bad." So I'm kind of leaning towards that because I could move it around pretty good. Like that's not really a problem. But every once in a while, I feel so, like a tendon slipping in my arm, and it causes excruciating pain. Uh, and then, and then at other times, and then also if I try and lift up anything over like, like ten pounds, I feel like this agonizing burn through my entire arm. But other than that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. So that's 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 what's been happening with me recently. If anyone's curious. <laughs> yes. I was, I mean, I like, as soon as you said I dislocated my shoulder, I was like, you thought I was like joking. You're like, you're no, I, I didn't think you were joking. I'm just like, get over it. Like you sent a selfie because you knew I wouldn't believe you. you said, I know you I sent, sent you a selfie, selfie with me wrapped in a fucking, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm like, like get over yeah. Just pop, pop that bitch back in. I've dislocated something before you just pop it in, but you like <sighs> tore it, dislocated it. It was like yeah. in the wrong area. Also, <laughs> by the way, if anyone's curious when it, the pain of the shoulder coming out of its socket and going back into its socket actually doesn't hurt at all, but it's the, it's, it's the, the rippage of, of the fucking, whatever the fuck I tore in my shoulder that was burning through my arm. That was the pain. But when it went in and out, it just feels like you pop a knuckle. Yeah. When you like dislocate, something, it's, it's like just uncomfortable. You're like, why? Yeah. Why it's just uncomfortable. Like, why, yeah, it doesn't really hurt. <laughs> it doesn't really hurt. Obviously when it's out for an hour and a half and your arm is, you know, 
the bone is hitting tendons and nerves that it shouldn't be hitting. Then it starts Honestly, to hurt. Maybe why you tore it because it was out for so long and they're like that. Oh, I mean, I mean, there was I couldn't help it. It wouldn't go back in. <laughs> no, maybe that was their scheme. They they like meant to tear your arm up so you have to spend more money. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm so, just hoping no. Surgery. I can't. I can't get a shoulder specialist. There's a tough yeah, dude. like he specializes in shoulders. There's like two or three bones in your shoulder. How much I could do? No, that there's shit. so much happening in your shoulder. Oh, I guess I guess like the tendons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a labrum. There's a rotator cuff. There's a um. Yeah, but like, like there's bones wise, there. there's like three of them bitches. You could just <laughs> like A B C boom. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I special. I mean, there's like there's like there's knee specialists. There's spine specialists. It's just like you know. Yeah, what was the date we were supposed to record? Like, it was like beginning of August right now. Right now it's like yeah, it was like last Monday, week of August. I but think it's coming I, out next week. I believe I tore it Monday the twelfth. Well, that's when I dislocated it. So obviously I tore it the same day. But <laughs> um, yeah, so it would have been the thirteenth. I think we were thinking of record or that Monday. I think it was that day. It was the day you tore it. <laughs> yeah, it was the day I tore it. I was going like, to my softball game and I was softball. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, played a little too much softball, a little too hard that day. It's like the world didn't want Rabbit Hole to come back. And then uh, you had, a, you had another day. excuse like yesterday or something, or like two days uh, ago. I had to get a fucking MRI, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, yesterday. I, no, it was either was yesterday, yesterday or two days ago. You, you were like, oh, yeah. I, I you was, caught me I, in my bad time where I'm moving everything in my room. Yeah, I was like moving the like the sofa and like my bed and stuff, and which like the doctor did dribbles. not recommend. And like I'm not gonna lie, part of the only reason it took me so long was because half of it was me lying on my floor going, "Oh my fucking god, why did I do that?" Like in <laughs> agonizing pain. How many how many positions has that sofa been in? Oh, in dude. The past, like, year? Oh my god, it's so oh, <laughs> I can't even. How many, how many to... times a year would you say you redo? Like your room, like move my room around. Yeah, it. <laughs> I'm not. Even, it. I'd say how many times a month? <laughs> a month? I like was gonna one. say minimum like once a month. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> just like sometime, dude, and it's like it's never planned. I'll just wake up one day and I'm like, why the <laughs> fuck is that picture frame over there? <laughs> like I just get so pissed. I like wake up and see it on the wall, and I'm like, get the <laughs> fuck out of there. And then I move it, and I'm like, now I gotta move everything. <laughs> and I get like angry and like really excited, and it's not you don't want to talk to me when I get like that, <laughs> dude. I kind of I was like begging. I'm like, I need I need to see this side of cause. Like, let's record like in an hour. You're like, no, I need no. to move the sofa. Dude, no one needs to see that side of cause. It is it is a I am all over the place, like way more all over the place. And like all I would, all, if we did it that day, I would just be thinking about how my sofa is not in the right place right now and how annoying that is and how terrible my room looks. <laughs> That's why I said you remind me of my gerbils. Like, oh, <laughs> I clean their gerbils. cage. I like, I like put new toys in there. I, I like put their food, everything's all organized. Like two days go by. It's fine. Like still, still normal. Then one day they wake up. They're like, what the fuck is that doing there? And they, <laughs> they just like, Start eating their food bowl and like putting it to the bottom of the cage, like moving everything that's down up, everything that's up down. Oh, that's literally what I do. Yeah, they they start moving all their like fluff and hay to the top instead of the bottom. They're like, I, oh. I want the, I want this part clean right now. Literally, literally <laughs> yeah. I'm me. like, I'm like, cause is a gerbil. It doesn't take a lot sometimes. Like sometimes, honestly, I think the longest I've gone is like sometimes I'll go like three, four months. But then the problem is that like then there'll be a month where I move it once a week. And then that's like a whole other thing. And it's like, I'm doing too much. Is that when you decide like, maybe I should take the meds this week? Um, yeah, usually that's usually like, usually the second move I'm like, oh God, I should probably go in the cabinet. <laughs> you ever think about like, if that's messing with you even more that you like, don't take it consistently. The doctor did say that, but the, but I, I, I think differently. I tend, I ch I choose I choose to ignore their their claims, right? Yeah, right. I so, choose. To so ignore. how how often do you say? By the way, his medication is for ADHD. It's at Ad yeah. I think. Um. Oh uh, no, I'm on like a fifth different one at this point. <laughs> Dude, they probably think the medication isn't working, but it's you not working with the medication. Um. No, because there will be months where like I like the problem. The only reason I don't take it all the time, and like me and my doctor have come to a consensus, is because. 
I have some like thing with my metabolism where like for some reason I metabolize the medication too quickly. And so I get used to it too quickly. So the problem is that then if I were to take it every day, they bump me up like way too quick. And like, I don't like to be on like so many fucking milligrams of amphetamines. So I just switch medications a lot. And that's like healthy. I mean, it's better than being on like 80 milligrams of Adderall a day. What what would happen if you just never took it ever again? Um, your, your house just, would be like all blue. <laughs> day to day is just much harder. Just It'd be crayon, much, crayons, much harder. crayons on like crayon drawings all over the walls. It would, it would just yeah, be... just it would be a much harder life to live, <laughs> to say the least. Would you rather like take it every day or never take it again? Never take it again, but I think that would cause a lot of problems in my life. So. You know, it's kind of like a give and get. Like, I would love to never take it again. But then, like, another part of me is like, I think we know why I need it. You yeah, know, some, someone would be in danger. Yeah. Well, someone. myself, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. I wouldn't hurt anybody. <laughs> You'd hurt yourself. Whoa. No, not like that. Okay. Not like that. Just, like, <laughs> you just like. I meant like by it. Like, like, you know, like the, 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 the. I don't know, like the structure of my life. To oh, say the okay. Least. I yeah. thought you meant like, oh, I could do a handstand right now. <laughs> um, honestly, dude, I, I've been, you know, that's another thing too, is like the only thing that's bothered me with my shoulder is like, I never really care to like do shit like that. But like when you're injured, then it's like so irritating. I'm like, even if I fucking wanted to right now, I couldn't even do a cartwheel. This is bullshit. <laughs> like it's, Wait, you can't, you can't like work out right now. No, no, God, dude, if I hung from a pull up bar, like right now, it's really sensitive because it's it's still like, like, you know, it's not just it's still like, obviously, it's torn. And that's going to be torn forever if I don't get surgery. But it's still the fact that like my shoulders really sensitive from the bone getting thrown in and out. So like, it's still bruised a little and stuff from like, just, you know, like, there's the bones probably bruised and things like that, just from like the, you know, the trauma of the incident. Do you still like, you you went from like gym rat, like blicky gym head guy, like, yeah, Crea- creatine in my veins and like that, yeah. that type of guy. Uh, mm-hmm. Protein for for breakfast, chicken and rice only. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, that's, that's that's enough to scrub. No, you were saying everything right. I was just gonna let you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went from that to like I'm gonna run a marathon. Did he start? Like, yeah, I've, I've, I've become and, like running. Yeah, I only lift weights like I don't know, maybe like two three times a week, and then I'm I'm normally like running or like doing some type of cardio. Only you too, right? Week. <laughs> well, no, like, only no, the only reason I say that is because I used to lift like six to seven days a week. Yeah, your TikTok content used to only be like talking about the gym or, like, or not talking about the gym, but talking like on the way to the gym. Or yeah, something. it would usually like most of my TikToks were me in the car because I, yeah. I it would be me on the way to the gym and then me <laughs> yeah. in the car again because I'd be coming home from the gym. Because when you lift six to seven days a week, you're in the gym for like two to three hours. And then I kind of just got it got to a point where I was like, what the fuck? I don't give a shit. I don't want to be the yeah, yeah. like I don't really you're, like I just also you're, like n- not on the meds and and taking pre workout. That's got to be like a different breed of cause. Well, that was that like, was because that was that was the only way that like I couldn't be on the meds was like there was a point where like I had a horrible caffeine addiction because I wasn't on my medication, and so it was kind of like I was trying to like balance it out and like with like I was trying to balance out my symptoms with like insane amount of exercising mixed with a lot of caffeine to like sort of like level me out and like it didn't really work i'm gonna be honest yeah that's interesting <laughs> didn't really work <laughs> so now really you work. now you're just like cardio guy um yeah i like to you know i like to i like to jog but i don't i'm never gonna do like a i don't think i'll ever do like a half marathon or anything like that again i don't really like the whole like competing part like there were people, there would it's be like, really, like I, it's mostly competing with yourself. Like you're not going yeah, to win America. That's what I like. Like I like running by myself and just like, you know, looking at my own numbers and like, I didn't really care to like wake up at fucking five 30, go, you know, shit yeah. in a porta potty outside somewhere in the woods and then go run somewhere. Like I'm not, I'm not about to do all that again. Is it, is it like free to do that? I don't know. Anything no, no, that's sense. even, that's even worse part. You got to like pay a bunch of money and shit. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. I know you, you can like run a fundraiser or something then- yeah but dude the the this is what's insane and like well it's good obviously because it goes to a good cause but if you want to like there's some marathons i don't know how much the chicago one charges but i know the new york one is insane where if you don't run a fast enough time to like get into the marathon and like place um 
you to like get in via donation it is something like i think the minimum is like per person it's like ten thousand dollars holy shit like minimum and i think most people i think most groups that you join are like twenty thousand and i think like so like so like most of the time like i don't even know i couldn't even find enough people well obviously we could because we're online and like we could be like hey give five bucks or whatever and like you're donate running for charity that's what i did last time but if you're just like a regular person, like, I don't know where the, like, unless you're like loaded, you're not just going to get 20 grand, to like go around the New York marathon. Yeah. It's a, that's a little bit nuts. Yeah. Like you're not going to ask your family. Like, like, did you, did you, did you, you have, have a loose fun, grand like, lying around? Did you have fun doing it though? Was it cool? Like, <laughs> um, no, not really. It was kind of like, the entire, <laughs> like that was the one thing that was the, the moment I finished, I knew that I like, wasn't a marathon person or a half marathon or really just like a compete, a competitive runner in general, because every like 90 percent of people i hear who run a half marathon i heard people at the finish line being like i have to do the full one next i finished and i was like i'm never fucking doing that again like why the fuck did i do that like it wasn't even like a it wasn't even like a feeling of like wow like i'm proud of myself i was like why the fuck did i do that <laughs> that sucks and i mean it was, I feel it was like people, like, who, you know, people who like donated and helped you right now are probably pissed <laughs> No, obvi- no, no, the donations, <laughs> obviously, it went to a good cause. That was awesome. That part of it, I obviously enjoyed, and that was awesome. But yeah. never again am I running the fucking – I'll just do, like – I'll sell shirts for something if I want to do charity work or something like that. Like, I'm not I'm not running a fucking half marathon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was not me. Not for me. <laughs> um, Amber alerts. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, are we back to your notes app? That was so out of yeah. context. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see oh, your reaction. I thought that was like a threat. That <laughs> was like a threat. Yeah, you're you're about to be on one, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, Amber alerts. Yeah. Uh, I I am gonna honestly g- give you the wheel and, and try and watch you make this funny no, without be it, making it terrible. No, no go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, you go after, ahead. After you, I insist. No, but after you, my friend. No, but, but please. <sighs> Amber alert? Yeah. Damn, dude. This is the first episode back, man. <laughs> I'm trying first to start and last a positive after you canceled. Yeah, damn. Amber alert. Um, You were involved in one as a child. No. <laughs> oh, that would have been a fun. Here. That would have been a great segue to a great story. You should have lied and made one up. You're such a bitch. I, hold on. Let me bring up. I'll do a less controversial one. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I think it was worse. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not even in my notes. What are your thoughts on that, though? Either of those. Pick one. I, uh, Well, okay. Amber Alert? I don't even know what you would say. <laughs> Honestly, when I was really young, and this is full transparency here, I didn't know it was called Amber Alert because of some child named Amber. I fully... I fully thought that they just thought Amber was like a really good color to like alert people that a child's missing. I didn't even know Amber was a color. <laughs> Be, come on. I, I did not know Amber was a color. Amber hair. What did you think it was? I didn't, I didn't even know it was like, I thought it was one word. I thought it was like Amber alerts or something. <laughs> you thought it really just people ran- said it. I thought- I thought it was one word. You I'm just like, ran it all together? I, yeah. No, I never read like I, when I was young and like I heard Amber Amber Alerts. Like people just say it quickly. Yeah, when you're I'm young. Like, I'm like, what's an Amber Alert? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. No, when I was really young. Then I started though, I getting them. I'm like, oh Amber. And then I like just yeah. never questioned it. There you go. But uh So what did you write uh, down about it? That's all I wrote. I I think I think I was gonna talk about like <laughs> How nobody, which is, it's, it's so sad that nobody cares it, about them, I know you're but say, nobody yeah, yeah. cares about them. <laughs> like, it's not even, no, it's not even, it's, it's not, not even they don't care. It's, it's like, it's like you see it and you're like, oh my God, that's awful. Then you like talk to your friends about it. Like, did you see this? And then they're like, yeah. And then it's like, look for a gray sedan. And well, like, I if feel I see, like if I go, if I go to the grocery store after that and I see a gray sedan, I'm not doing shit. I'm like, well, it's that's not probably even- not it. Well, I would probably do. I mean, I'd probably call if I saw the license plate. I'd probably be like, "Hey, oh, yeah, but I'm not gonna remember. For, I'm not gonna remember the license plate. I'm gonna be like, oh, that's fair. Yeah, great, like you're not gonna. Yeah, I'll be like, did it? Did it say gray sedan? That's a gray sedan. Probably not the license. It's not plate. even. It's not even that people don't care. I think it's more so the fact like I'm not some vigilante in the night. I'm not Batman. I don't see this <laughs> yeah. on my phone, and I'm like to the Batcave. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't, you know? I don't like r- run around the street like, where's the sedan? Where is it? Yeah, I'm like grabbing people. I'm like, have you seen a gray sedan? License plate 4098. <laughs> Some guy's just sitting outside a coffee shop trying to enjoy his lunch. I'm shaking him. <laughs> Tell me where she is. It's Damn like it. Last, last scene, dude with a mustache. You start like socking dudes with mustache. It's like, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just think it's. Like, I get what you're saying, though. I get, and I think most people. I, f- I feel like it's only an American thing, though, because because I, I like brought this up with the British person once. They're like, "What the fuck are you on about?" Or something. I don't know. <laughs> something like that, that. I think that was Irish. I don't even know what. The- <laughs> <laughs> brought up with the Scottish person. They're like, "But I got a question for you." <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, I just know this like one meme that's like, "I got a question for you. What is heavier? A kilogram of steel? <laughs> have you seen that? I have. I have. I know what you're talking about. This. That's good. I, I just bring good. that up all the time. I just fucking love it. It's a good that. accent. Low key it's too. a very niche thing to bring up, though. I Somebody from Scotland's probably like, that's actually a fucking terrible accent. Why the <laughs> fuck would you say it was good at all? I wish I could do an Australian accent. That's my, like, that one's one hard. Goal. That's a really I met hard an Australian. I met an Australian dude yesterday. Um, that, that's like the highlight of my day. And anytime I meet an Australian person, he's like, yeah, I'm from Australia. I'm like, Holy I've never hell. met one in my life. Really? It's like, never. Changing. They don't really come to Chicago. It's like almost as cool as getting complimented by a gay person. Just meeting an Australian person. Oh, yeah, it's like 1A1B right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, would you rather? <laughs> Actually, that's probably offensive in some ways. That's not what I mean. I, I mean, like, like I, I just You just like their being, accent. It's a compliment. Like, like my Siri is in Australia. It's like, yeah, I used to do that a lot at too. At the but... roundabout, take a left turn. I'm like, yeah, daddy. I... <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> that's it for is it wait how yeah we should it close it out there yeah, I think that's perfect you do you do outros I, I, thank I you everybody on the entire planet um and if you're not from this planet you know thanks for listening maybe if you're on a spaceship somewhere trying to nuke the earth please don't but i'm wow. happy you're listening to the show well you never know you know is this your language? language i think we are working with people to get inter <laughs> intergalactic language yeah we're trying to get on the intergalactic cable channel via rick and morty (laughs) um anywho it like we said thank you so much for listening youtube please leave a comment say something say something nice please don't say something oh give us reviews because that's part of the part of the reason we know um like how many people listen to this because for podcasts we only see downloads for some reason so download it if you want to we don't see streams. That was another main reason I probably should have we should have brought up at the beginning that that was one of the main reasons we thought we didn't have an audience because it would just show us like downloads and not streams. And we didn't realize how many people were actually listening because we know that most people probably don't download the show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, anyway, like I have never downloaded a podcast unless I'm going on a plane or something. Yeah. So. I mean, you could download it and delete it. I think I think it still counts. Oh, yeah. Do that then. Yeah, go nuts. That. Give us a little dude, give us a little give us a little D and D, a little download and delete, baby. Don't Ooh, make it don't I be like too that. naughty about it though. Sorry. Mm. Uh don't <laughs> mm, after that. Get out of frame, please. Anyways, thank you for listening. YouTube, Apple Podcast, Apple Podcast specifically the reviews. You could write something. Leave some leave some stars. Absolutely. Spotify, you can't write anything, but you could still leave the stars, and that's just as important. So don't fucking forget it. And if you're like, I don't have a Spotify, download the app. What are you waiting for? And if you're like, I don't have an iPhone, get one and get on Apple Podcasts <laughs> get with and the time. figure it out. Okay. <laughs> and then get on YouTube, leave us comments, leave us likes and leave us uh, gifts. If you want to send us money, that's also a welcome. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we will have merch releasing soon. Maybe. Yeah, that'll this- be a good way to send us money. Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah. I got to talk to you about that after this. By the way, I found a company that I think would work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anywho. Um, yeah, that's that, that's it um yeah thank so you for like, download like uh comment on and YouTube. share most share, importantly and review. like and review we have and... like social medias or something like that yeah Instagram. go on those yeah, we have we have social fa- yeah just do Don't everything the, look up i'll put those into the description i'll put all the socials in the description Ooh. when i upload Ooh, good it. idea great idea yeah. i'll put it in the description awesome. okay that is all thank you so much for listening we are out later